Well, hey, that's a bit more useful. And that's a bit cleaner inside than it was before. Let's see how the size of this compares to one of the Vivor air stills. Well, there's one of the completed Vivor air stills with the airhead installed. And there is the completed COZ with the airhead installed. As you can see, there's quite a big difference in size between these two. Uh, the COZ is supposed to be a 900 watt air still, and it's actually 850 watts on the heating element, 50 on the fan, just like these are supposed to be 750 watts, but it's 700 watts on the heating element and 50 on the fan. So let's do a little test with this thing. I'm going to get this all calibrated and do a test run, see how she performs. I have a feeling it's going to work great. Okay, I'll show you how I calibrate these things. This one has to be done at the code level because repositioning the temperature sensor isn't an option. So as you can see down here, my target temperature is 80C, 176 Fahrenheit, and we're already almost 180, 190 in between there. So what I do, yes, this is a Chromebook that I converted to Linux. I just changed this to something like, I'll do four, you know, four degrees. And I just upload the code. There goes the upload. And it's done. So then I'll just restart it over here and see how close I get. Okay, the calibration is complete on this one. It took a correction factor of five to get it dialed in. Then I started the mode three distillation run. It hit uh, operating temperature about yeah, almost 15 minutes ago. And I charged it up with two quarts of 140 proof brandy. So I'm just gonna let this thing go until I get all my brandy back. But hey, at least now you know that the airhead upgrade will pretty much work with about any air still clone there is out there. So have a good one. We'll see you next time around. Bye.